here we are a family channel uh we do everything family i'm sorry that i'm not talking too loud you guys i am at work but i haven't clocked in yet but i just want to do a short like um brief chit chat with you guys while i drink me coffee and so fyi this coffee is the um chestnut chestnut frosting or something and so I go to the same Starbucks like at least three times out of the week and I get the same drink so I'm hooked on at first it was a dirty chai which is chai latte tea with a shot of espresso on it so it's half tea and half coffee um, then I switched it up and went to a green tea latte which is all tea it's a green tea base but it has it's made with milk and now I'm doing this because the cashier, I told her I wanted something new, so she um, suggests this drink, and I was a little funny about it because I'm like, rest nuts frosting, which you, that don't even sound like the flavor, but it's actually very good, so it tastes like kind of like a hazelnut more so, like a nutty type texture drink, and it is made with half decaf, half regular um because i get a little jittery sometimes and also it's made with almond milk and i actually really like this so i think um the next time i go back i'm gonna get the same exact drink but enough talking um so as i always open up every single video i start off by saying all the different things that i do and that i am and one of the things i always mention to you guys is i'm a jehovah's witness recently someone asked me a question and I just wanted to make a quick chit chat about it which was do I be feeling uncomfortable come um the um holiday season and um I've been asked that question before um so I think curious minds want to know so yes I am a Jehovah's Witness and I don't celebrate any holiday um and if you want me to do a video about that, I sure will going deeper into because I don't just want to say because I'm a Jehovah's Witness. That's why I don't celebrate it. Um, there's certain Bible principles and then also the origin of where a holiday comes from that matters to me. For most people, they celebrate the holidays um, <clears throat> because it's fun. Also, because it's um, in their heart, it's about family or <clears throat> Um, it may have a different meaning to them, but it's important to me to know where a holiday stemmed from. And if it stemmed from something like false religion or something that God disapproves of, then no matter what meaning I accumulate in my head over the years, it doesn't change where it came from. I kind of liken it to um, if someone murdered your family. I know this is like a really um, <laughs> odd example, but we'll just say someone murdered your family, your mother, everything. You came home, they all were murdered. After years and years go by, this person gets out of jail and they leave you a gift at your door. And it's something like jewelry, you know, something that you really like. But when you find out who it comes from, and where the gift came from more nine times out of ten you don't want it because it came from someone that 
is hurtful, someone that destroyed your life, and someone who destroyed your family. And so that's how I feel about when it comes to holidays. It's like when I find out where the holiday stemmed from, if it stemmed from a bad place or something that's displeasing to my best friend, which is God, (laughs) then I don't want it, even if it's fun, even if I've accumulated another meaning in my head. So that's just like a little brief summary. Um, But back to the question. So the short answer is no, I don't feel uncomfortable. Now, if you would have asked me that about five years ago, maybe I would have because um, my faith wasn't as strong. But um, I feel strong about what I'm doing and I know what I'm doing is the right thing. And I know that I can go to sleep with a good conscience. So I don't care anymore what people think. So like when people ask me questions around this time of the year or if the conversation comes up like I don't feel uncomfortable anymore Um, I'm very open and free to explaining anything I don't feel like I have anything to prove to anyone else Um, on another topic um, I was also asked do I accept gifts now I don't participate in the gift giving I don't participate in holiday parties, nothing like that, um, because I wouldn't put myself in a position where I make other people feel uncomfortable as well. And also, I'm not going to be a hypocrite. So I don't attend those type of things or those or indulge in those type of functions. But um, if my manager or if someone Um, one of my tenants or something wanted to give me a gift card or do something nice or kind for me, I would most definitely appreciate it and accept it because I deserve it. Um, I work hard and, you know, I feel like at the end of the year, at the end of the year, it would be nice to have some type of recognition, not because of it's Christmas or not because it's the holidays, but because I've worked hard throughout the year. And throughout the year, not only do I do my job, but most time I go beyond my job. So yeah, if someone wants to give me something for uh, appreciation, then yes, I would definitely accept it. And they don't have to do that at the end of the year. They can do it January, February, March, April. They can do it anytime they want and I will accept. So, <laughs> so no, I don't feel uncomfortable. And if you talk to many witnesses, Jehovah Witnesses, you will find out that they don't feel uncomfortable. Um, if anything, we use it as an opportunity to to tell a little bit of why we don't celebrate these things. And it can be used as a, a time of preaching as well. So it's nothing to feel uncomfortable with. Um, where I work at right now, they just put, like, decorations everywhere. And I don't feel uncomfortable Um I I definitely, if I had the choice, I would not have put them up, but it doesn't make me feel ashamed or uncomfortable or I hope no one asks me anything. And then I politely always say, when people say have a good holidays or when they say have a happy um, Thanksgiving or Christmas or whatever it is, I always politely say thank you. Um, I mean, because it's the thought that you don't know what I do, so... You know, you're not saying it in a disrespectful way. All you're saying is you're wishing me um, the best time off, you know. So um, I just take it and I say thank you and I keep it moving. And if the opportunity presents itself for me to explain into detail of why I don't celebrate these things. And of course, I take advantage of that time. Now, I will say what does make me feel a little uncomfortable is the fact that when I'm on YouTube around this time of the season, everybody is posting things about the holidays. And some of the content I don't want to watch. And it's not because it's bad, con- like it's not because their content itself is just poor. Um, a lot of these YouTubers I love, like all hands down, a lot of your videos that I support back is not because I'm just doing it out of obligation. I really like some of your content out there. You know, I have some YouTubers that I really like their content and I've actually learned things from their content. Um, And so when they're focused so much on the holidays, I mean, we're not just talking about one or two videos. There's some 
YouTubers out here that's doing like um, a whole month full of, you know, Christmas and stuff and decorations and and it doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. I take that back. It just makes me feel like, dang, like I want to watch your content, but it's not what I believe in. Um, so that part, like I don't look forward to. <laughs> so what I try to do is because I still want to support those people. So sometimes what I will do is I'll cut it on their channel and I will cut it on mute and just let the channel like just let the the, the video play out just so that they can get their views and I won't listen to it. But this year, I, what I've been doing is I'll go to past videos. So if I see that right now they're focused on the holidays, I'll just watch some of their previous content that maybe I didn't get a chance to watch in the past. And I mean, we talking about like maybe years ago. So yeah, so if I'm doing that to you, you know I. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to do a brief chit chat. I'm running out of time. I gotta get this coffee down before I go to work. So ladies, gents, whoever, stay strong.